Ever wondered if you could unlock your full potential? Welcome to the fascinating world of biohacking. This is not your everyday health and wellness guide. Instead, we're embarking on a journey into the realm of self-optimization, where we tune into our bodies and minds, making intentional changes to our lifestyles to enhance our physical and mental performance. The concept of biohacking may sound complex, like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's surprisingly accessible. At its core, biohacking is about taking control of your own biology, making tweaks to your diet, sleep, exercise, and even stress levels to bring about positive changes. Whether you're a seasoned health enthusiast or a curious beginner, there's a biohack waiting for you. So buckle up as we dive into the world of biohacking. Biohacking might seem like a complex term, but it's simpler than you think. At its core, biohacking is about making changes to your lifestyle in ways that improve your health and well-being. It's about taking control of your own biology, steering the ship of your life with a deeper understanding of the inner workings of your body and mind. Biohacking is fundamentally rooted in three principles. First, it's personalized. What works for one person might not work for another, and that's okay. Biohacking is about finding what works for you. It's a custom approach to health that's tailored to your unique biology. The second principle of biohacking is intentionality. This isn't about following the latest health fad or diet trend. Instead, it's about making conscious, deliberate decisions about your health based on an understanding of your body. It's about asking yourself, how does this food make me feel? How does this activity affect my mood or energy levels? And using that information to guide your choices. Lastly, biohacking is about ongoing self-experimentation. It's not a one and done deal. It's a lifelong journey. It's about continuously testing, learning and adjusting. You might try a new supplement, alter your sleep schedule or incorporate a new exercise routine, then monitor how these changes affect your body and well-being. Over time, these small tweaks can lead to significant improvements in your health and performance. But make no mistake, biohacking isn't just about diet and exercise. It goes beyond traditional health practices to encompass all areas of your life. From the way you work to the way you rest, from the things you put into your body to the thoughts you allow into your mind. And remember, biohacking doesn't have to be extreme. It doesn't mean turning your life upside down or spending a fortune on fancy gadgets. It can be as simple as taking a daily walk, getting more sunlight or practicing mindfulness. In the end, biohacking is about more than just living longer. It's about living better. It's about experiencing life with a greater sense of vitality, clarity, and joy. Remember, biohacking is about unlocking your full potential. You are what you eat, so let's start biohacking with nutrition. Imagine your body as a high-tech machine. You wouldn't fuel a top-of-the-line sports car with low-quality gas, would you? Similarly, if we want our bodies to perform at their best, we need to feed them premium fuel, that is, high-quality, nutrient-dense food. In the world of biohacking, nutrition takes center stage. It's not just about eating to satiate hunger, but about consciously choosing what to consume in order to optimize our physical and mental performance. Each bite we take can either nourish our bodies or disrupt our systems. So what does a biohacker's plate look like? It's a colorful array of whole foods. Whole foods are foods that have been processed or refined as little as possible and are free from additives or other artificial substances. They're your fruits, vegetables, lean meats, fish, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. These foods are packed with the vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients our bodies need to function optimally. But it's not just about what we eat, it's also about how we eat. This is where the concept of a balanced diet comes in. A balanced diet is one that gives your body the nutrients it needs to function correctly. This means consuming the right amount of foods from all food groups. Protein is essential for building and repairing tissues. Carbohydrates provide the body with energy while fats are a concentrated source of energy and help absorb vitamins. Vitamins and minerals are vital for immune function, energy production, and bone health, among other things. And let's not forget about water, which is crucial for digestion, absorption, circulation, and temperature regulation. Eating a balanced diet doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as filling half your plate with fruits and vegetables, a quarter with lean protein, and the remaining quarter with whole grains. Now let's talk about some simple tips for biohacking your nutrition. First, consider meal planning. This can help ensure you're getting a variety of nutrients throughout your week and can also make grocery shopping and meal prep more efficient. Another tip is mindful eating. 
This involves paying attention to what you're eating and savoring each bite. It encourages you to slow down and appreciate your food, which can improve digestion and bring more enjoyment to mealtime. Lastly, remember to hydrate. Water plays a vital role in every bodily function. Aim to drink at least eight glasses of water a day, but remember, your individual need may vary based on your body size, activity level, and climate. A biohacker knows that good nutrition is the first step to a healthier mind and body. So let's start making conscious choices about what we put into our bodies. Remember, it's not about perfection, but about making better choices more often. Because when it comes to biohacking, every bite counts. Ever wondered why you feel refreshed after a good night's sleep? Let's explore. In the realm of biohacking, sleep is not just about clocking in those eight hours. It's about optimizing that crucial rest period to rejuvenate your body and mind, to enhance cognitive function, and to improve overall well-being. Sleep, dear listeners, is a natural biohack that's been with us since the dawn of our species. Now you might be thinking, but I sleep every night, isn't that enough? Well, not quite. It's not just about the quantity of sleep, but also the quality. Deep, restorative sleep is what we're aiming for here. It's in this phase of sleep that our bodies repair tissues, build bone and muscle, and boost the immune system. It's also when our minds consolidate memories and process emotions. So how can we optimize our sleep? First, let's talk about our sleep environment. Imagine a bedroom that's conducive to rest and relaxation. A cool, dark, and quiet room can do wonders for your sleep quality. Invest in blackout curtains or an eye mask to block out light, and consider a white noise machine or earplugs to drown out disruptive noises. Next, it's essential to establish a consistent sleep routine. Our bodies love predictability. Going to bed and waking up at the same time every day helps regulate our internal body clock, also known as our circadian rhythm. This rhythm plays a key role in when we feel awake and when we feel sleepy. Consistency is key. Limit exposure to screens before bedtime. The blue light emitted by our devices can interfere with the production of melatonin, the hormone that regulates sleep. Try to switch off devices or use a blue light filter at least an hour before bed. Don't underestimate the power of a pre-sleep routine either. This could include reading a book, taking a warm bath, meditating, or practicing gentle yoga. These activities signal to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. Now, on to diet. Certain foods can promote better sleep. Tryptophan-rich foods like turkey, nuts, and seeds can boost the production of serotonin and melatonin, aiding in better sleep. Chamomile and lavender teas are also known for their calming properties. Exercise, too, plays a vital role in sleep optimization. Regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. However, timing is crucial. Try to finish workouts at least three hours before bedtime to give your body time to cool down. Lastly, consider keeping a sleep diary. This can help you identify patterns or issues that may be affecting your sleep quality. Remember, knowledge is power. The connection between adequate, quality sleep and enhanced cognitive function cannot be overstated. Numerous studies have shown that good sleep can improve problem-solving skills, enhance memory, and boost mood. It's an essential part of our lives that deserves our attention and care. Biohackers understand that quality sleep is not just a luxury, but a necessity. Let's prioritize it and unlock our full potential. Stress is inevitable, but how you manage it can make all the difference. We live in a world that is constantly on the go, where life's demands can sometimes feel overwhelming. This can lead to stress, a common response to challenging situations. However, unchecked stress can have a detrimental effect on both our physical and mental health, leading to issues such as high blood pressure, heart disease, obesity, and even mental health problems like depression and anxiety. It's clear that managing stress is not just about feeling better in the moment, but also about ensuring long-term health. So, how can we combat stress in our lives? One simple yet effective method is mindfulness. By focusing on the present moment, we can reduce our anxiety about the future or past, allowing us to stay grounded and calm. You can practice mindfulness anywhere, anytime. Whether you're washing dishes, walking in the park, or even during your workday, being fully present can help you cope with stress and experience life more fully. Deep breathing is another powerful stress management tool. When we're stressed, our breathing can become shallow and rapid. By consciously taking slow, deep breaths, we can counteract this stress response, calming our mind and body. Try it now. Take a deep breath in for a count of four, hold for a count of four, then exhale for a count of four. Repeat this a few times and notice how you feel. 
Simple, right? Lastly, don't underestimate the power of taking short breaks throughout your day. Even a five-minute break to stretch, walk around, or simply relax can make a big difference in your stress levels. Remember, it's not about being lazy, but about giving your mind and body the rest they need to function at their best. As a biohacker, incorporating these stress reduction practices into your daily life is crucial. Stress management isn't just about feeling good, it's a key part of optimizing your physical and mental performance. By managing stress effectively, you can unlock a higher level of well-being and tap into your full potential. A biohacker knows that managing stress is key to unlocking untapped potential. Technology is not just for entertainment. It can also be a powerful tool for biohacking. In an era where smart devices are practically extensions of our bodies, it's only logical to leverage this connectivity to our advantage. When we talk about technology in the context of biohacking, we're not referring to some sci-fi gadgets. We mean everyday devices and applications that can help us understand our bodies better. Wearable devices, for instance, have transformed the way we track our health. From smartwatches that monitor heart rate and sleep patterns, to fitness trackers that count steps and record exercise data, these tools offer valuable insights into our physical state. Similarly, mobile applications serve as invaluable tools in this journey. Whether it's a nutrition tracking app to ensure you're getting a balanced diet, a sleep app to optimize your rest, or a meditation app to manage stress, these digital platforms provide a wealth of data at your fingertips. But it doesn't stop at wearables and apps. The market is buzzing with high-tech tools like portable brain scanning devices, infrared saunas, and even gene testing kits. Tools that were once exclusive to professional labs and clinics are now available for personal use. However, with great power comes great responsibility. It's essential to use technology mindfully for biohacking. While these tools can assist us in tracking our health metrics, they should not overshadow the importance of listening to our bodies. The data is helpful, but it should serve as a guide, not a dictator of our well-being. Remember, biohacking is all about personalization and experimentation. Different tools will work for different people. So don't be afraid to try various devices and apps to find what works best for you. In conclusion, technology is a fantastic ally on your biohacking journey. It makes the process of tracking, analyzing, and adjusting your lifestyle changes more accessible and more precise. With technology, a biohacker can track progress and make informed decisions about health. Biohacking is a journey, and you've taken the first steps today. We've covered a lot of ground, but let's briefly revisit the key takeaways. Nutrition is the cornerstone of biohacking. By focusing on whole foods and nutrient-dense choices, you're setting the stage for optimal physical and mental performance. Sleep is another crucial aspect. Quality sleep enhances cognitive function and overall well-being. Remember, it's not just about the quantity, but the quality of your sleep. Stress management techniques such as mindfulness and deep breathing are essential tools in your biohacking arsenal. They help keep your mind clear and your body in balance. And finally, we explored technology's role in biohacking. Wearable devices, apps, and tools can assist in tracking health metrics and lifestyle changes. These are small, intentional changes, but don't underestimate their power. They can lead to significant improvements in your overall well-being. Remember, biohacking is about unlocking your full potential. Thank you for joining us on this journey into biohacking. We've taken a deep dive into this exciting world, unraveling its mysteries and shedding light on its potential for optimizing our health and well-being. We've explored the principles of biohacking, the importance of nutrition, the significance of sleep, the role of stress management, and the impact of technology on this transformative journey. Each of these elements forms a piece of the biohacking puzzle, and together, they create a roadmap to a healthier, more vibrant, and optimized life. Whether it's the food we eat, the quality of our sleep, how we handle stress, or how we leverage technology to track our progress, every choice we make has the potential to bring us closer to our best selves. And remember, biohacking is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's a personalized journey of self-experimentation, where we become the scientists of our own bodies and minds. The goal is to understand ourselves better, so that we can make choices that align with our unique needs, goals, and lifestyles. Begin with small, intentional changes. Maybe that's incorporating more whole foods into your diet, or setting a consistent sleep routine, or taking a few moments each day to practice mindfulness. Each small step you take is a step towards a healthier, more vibrant you. As we wrap up, 
we encourage you to embark on your biohacking journey. Use the information and tips we've shared as a starting point, and remember, the journey of biohacking is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making sustainable changes that you can maintain in the long run. And as you start this journey, remember that you're not alone. There's a whole community of biohackers out there, sharing their experiences, insights, and advice. Engage with this community, learn from their experiences, and share your own. Together, we can push the boundaries of what's possible, unlocking our full potential and paving the way to better health and well-being. If you found this video helpful and want to dive deeper into the world of biohacking, health, and personal development, remember to subscribe to our channel. We're constantly exploring new topics, sharing the latest insights, and offering practical tips to help you on your journey. So, as we close this chapter, we leave you with this. Stay curious, keep learning, and never stop experimenting. Your biohacking journey is just beginning, and we can't wait to see where it takes you. Stay curious, stay healthy, and keep biohacking.